Hello, Mapping Nightmare Tubers, and welcome back to this place, Secret of the Silver Blades, Lost in a Terrible Place with me, Blue Ankylo. So, um, I had a quick look online just to see how terrible this map was that I'm actually in, and I want to share it with you guys. It's actually not even in the hint book. Uh, the hint book has a lot of maps for a lot of areas, and uh, that's, you know, convenient, right? Because uh, I don't have the time. I can't really be drawing this out while I'm trying to play it and commentate. It doesn't really work. Uh, and I don't even really like doing that too much anyway. It's, it's a little bit time consuming for my tastes. But um, this is what it would look like. Sorry, not that. That. So, um, we are... I have no idea where we are. This is the town of Vertigra. This is the, uh, the Well of Knowledge. So, we can teleport between this green and that green. And I think this was where we fought the dragon. The little dragon. And that teleports to here. Where else in this monstrous maze I am? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure the dark purple bit will be the other dragon treasure that our other map sort of showed from town. There's something over here, and that's got a green teleporter. And then a light blue, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the mine area that I've walked by once or twice. But it shows up multiple times as we travel around. Um, so I don't know if I'm... Like, like, really, I don't know where I am, and uh, I'm not happy about that. So what my plan is for today is to, uh, well, I, I guess, uh, spoiler alert, I'm on the same session as I was last time, but I, I'm not planning on a super long episode. I need to get somewhere that I know where I am and then wrap up my current recording session, because, like, being lost isn't a whole lot of fun. And unfortunately for this game specifically... Uh, the, the mazes are, are overpowered. So what I'm doing right now is backtracking from an area from the last, the end of last episode, and I'm trying to remember where the split was that I went somewhere different. Um, I don't know. The door is covered with frost. Well, that's something, right? We, uh, apparently can't go through it. So if I was mapping right now, I would put a note here that we found an ice door. Um... Maybe there's a way to open it, but... Search... Look... I'm pretty sure it would give us a dialogue. Like, you'd think maybe casting Fireball at it would work. Fireball should open most doors, but... Uh, that's interesting. So we found an ice door. Again, I don't know where I'm going now. That's why well, it's a dead end, so that solves that. We're going this way. Monsters attack! Yay! Well, at least most monsters... Most of the stuff we fight down here is pretty easy to kill. It's just the BC Lords that are really dangerous. So we can at least quick battle through most of this stuff. Alright, just get out of here. It's not worth my time. Hopefully, maybe... You remember in the previous games, once you fought like 10 or so battles, in an area, they stop randomly spawning on you. That would be so nice, wouldn't it? I wonder if the color of the sky changing is supposed to give me a clue as to where I am in the maze. Arrow pointing south. Well, I think if we follow the arrows, they take us back to town at the very least. Except for when you get to branches like this and you have no idea where to go. I mean... I really... I can't say... Okay, this is perfect. So, we managed to get back to town anyway. You just randomly wander around until some uh, some people take you home. They, they, they put, they spare, they, 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 they take pity on you and they finally just drag your butt back home. Alright, so, um, one of the things we can do while we're here is give Christina a level up in magic. That's nice. So, uh, she should have some new spells. Level 10 mage. Is that as high as I am, actually? Not quite. You're not quite as good at magic as me, but nice try, Christina. Alright, so that's covered. And I suppose we should identify and sell some stuff while I'm... That's the wrong place. While we're here. Thanks, townspeople. Maybe you guys could give me a map of the surrounding lands. Is that too much to ask for? So, um, I don't think we picked up a whole lot of stuff. But uh, we definitely want to identify it, sell it, and get rid of it. Yeah, this is the, the interesting stuff. We have Flail plus two, 
Ring of Protection plus two. A Wand of Fireballs and a Shield plus two. That's pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to give it to Sarius. Well, I'm going to try to give it to Sarius. Because um, he's got the lowest AC as a rule. I expect we'll be selling all of this stuff. Yeah, that's that's not good enough. Okay, we'll just sell all the shield plus ones. And go to Sarius. What's he? It's probably nothing valuable again, but... Uh, oops. I'm trying to get my keyboard to, to do this quickly. Shortcut keys, almost. Okay. Lots of bracers of AC3, or AC4. Those are actually pretty good, and they're worth a ton of money, as you guys can see. Um, if I wasn't... If I wasn't able to wear plate mail on my fighter mages and cleric mages, I would give everybody AC bracers of AC4, and they'd be pretty good. But plate mail plus one's better. Except for movement. Other than mobility, it's better in all ways. Okay, we'll sell all this stuff. And I have some stuff to identify. I, I, I really should have a look at these scrolls. I keep forgetting. Mace plus one, not good enough. And then I think that's it. Everyone's been identified. I'm not sure if the flail is better or worse than the mace. We'll compare. We'll give the uh, Ring of Protection to Sarius, who's always has a hard time. So if I have a Wand of Ice Storm, Sarius has a Wand of Ice Storm, I'm going to have, you know, two. And is anyone missing a Shield plus two? I think we all have that. Shield plus two. Shield plus two. I think we all got that because of the introduction uh, free items. Yeah, so everyone's already got that one. Not too valuable anymore. We need, like, plate mail plus two, but shields are fine. All right. So let's find out, does this actually do anything? Leather armor. I think if I unequip the leather armor, because he's not getting the plus two from the leather armor right now. He's getting the base AC from the... Uh, from the bracers, if I then equip this, now we're getting plus two on top of the bracers, and just like that, he's down. Yeah, so this is standard. Ring of protection, the plus two from protection rings doesn't apply on top of or in addition to in summation with um, other plus one or two or three or whatever armor. So maybe I should have held on to some of those bracers of AC3 or AC4 because an AC4 bracer plus a ring of protection plus two is actually the same <laughs> as plate mail plus one so i guess it's not that good but if i ever started getting um ac2 bracers and still rings uh that would be better than uh plate mail as that combination because you couldn't wear the ring of protection plus two and the plate mail plus three or something like that uh, okay that's good and then i have all kinds of stuff to check out. So first up, my f my mace does one d six. Oops, wrong way. The flail does also one d six plus five. Is it the same? Probably exactly the same. <laughs> One of them might do look more damage to large monsters. To be honest, it probably doesn't really matter. Um. I'm going to stick with the mace for no real reason. And we'll get rid of that. And then, like I said, I can't even use this, unfortunately. So, just get rid of it. I think the reason longbows are so much better is you get two attacks per round. Uh, even a really good sling is still only one attack per round. Unless I'm forgetting something important. Okay, so we should have more money. We'll share the money. Pool the money, share the money. We have... Do we have literally too much money to carry? Share? Why are we not picking that up? I think everyone's overloaded. We have so much money, we can't actually take any more. We can't even carry all the money that we got from selling those items. Whatever. Do you want to go back and get your money? Nah. The monsters must tremble at your approach. Yeah, they might. 
let's go to the uh, Verdigris, Verdigras vault. Basically deposit everything. How are we doing? We have 52,000 platinum, a fair bit of gems and jewelry. We could go take some gems to that well one of these days. I'll save that for later, but it's good to know. And, uh, that's it. Okay. Last thing inventory wise, I want to look at my inventory. I want to have a look at these, uh, scrolls. So use. Okay, we do have level 6 spells on this, and there is Stone to Flesh. I just need some more magic user levels, and I can learn that, so that's cool. Use. Okay, yeah, I think the first two, these are the ones they gave you when you started the game up, and I just got two of them, because whatever. Knock and Detect Invisibility, that's garbage, we should sell that. Cloud Kill is garbage. I, I made sure everyone learned, like, the low-level spells, so we don't need to search for scrolls for those anymore. Okay. Got Wand of Fireballs, Wand of Ice. It's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't check this one. This is this will be the same as those. Because it's the one you start with. I'm sure of it. Okay, there is, I guess, one more thing we could do quickly. We could go um, teach Christina some new spells. See what she learned. Christina, the magic memorized. So she's got two new slots. Um, I think she's already, she already knew level 5 magic though. So like, the way you have to figure it out is, okay, she already knows hold monsters and from level 2, stinking cloud, mirror image, probably detected visibility. So then what do you want to learn in addition to that? Well, having more stinking clouds is pretty good, I guess. I use that a lot. And hold monsters is really good. <laughs> Feeble mind might work on the casters, but I think the chance to hold four of them is better than the chance to stop one of the casters from casting magic in my book. Cloud kill is okay as well. Just doesn't have a very long casting range. We'll just go with hold monsters for now. Memorize those. Everyone else should be fine. So it takes about seven hours to learn those. It's fine, and then at this point what I'd want to do is set gold box to memorize, or store those, and also save. Alright, what we're going to do, we're going to go talk to that old man again, because so far every time I've left town and come back, he's told me something different. And he has given us items, so let's hear from him. I like having like one journal entry per episode if I can pull it off. Fit journal entry 50... No. Journal entry 54. I'll just read it. Oh, he's just talking about the, the Well of Knowledge again. I think... Maybe we... I'm not sure if we heard this already, but... The Well of Knowledge was the heart of the old town. It controlled the gateway that allowed travel throughout the valley. Also, it served the old town by providing its enigmatic messages. The town used it, but they did not build it. It was there when the first men entered the valley, and it is said that it will remain when all else is gone. I think we've heard that before. He stretches, then leads over the, and pulls up a floorboard. He extracts a dusty pile of cloth from the dark hole and presents to you. Thank you, old man. He keeps giving us presents. What do we get? I'm taking it, whatever it is. The cloak of... That sounds really good. He smiles and tells you the tale of the cloak. All right. It's pretty good. Just keep talking to this old man. You get some cool stuff. My grandpappy... I guess I could show you this one, too. I've been lazy here. My grandpappy was a paladin out near Cormir, in the days before King Azun. Families come down a bit since then, but make no never mind. <laughs> there might have been another word there that got missed. He was a beloved he was beloved of a noble lady. She was a warrior maiden, namesake of Azun's daughter, Nicacia. Anyway, she kept trying to attract him, time down and so on. In turn he would go on longer and more dangerous quests. How did this family line continue, you ask? Nicasia took this in stride and eventually gave him this cloak as a present, saying that this way he could be around and elsewhere at the same time. My dad was their child and passed the cloak down to me. I think that it's too useful just to keep as an heirloom, and none of my kids deserve it, so put it to good use. I appreciate that, old man. Those are really nice. He winds down and falls asleep. Awesome old man. I'm glad I kept visiting you. So, uh... 
Unlike Ring of Protections, these things should apply minus two AC in addition to any of your plus one, plus two armor enchantments. So uh, those are really, really good. And I will be keeping the super AC because I'm tired of dying. Anyway, it seems like the residences don't update. Like, there's no, there's nothing new. Just, hey, good work, basically. Every, every time I've gone into one of those doors. But this old man, he keeps telling us cool stuff and giving us presents, so I like him. Okay, let's, uh, let's head out. We'll do a little bit of, let, try to get into at least one battle today before I wrap things up. Like I said, it might be a shorter episode, because... I mostly just wanted to figure out where we were, and at least the townspeople took us home. So, if we start here in the uh, well area, I could go talk to the well, but I don't want to. Um, if I look at my map, maybe what I should do is try to find, you know what I'll try to do today? The map of, of uh, the ruins here is just ridiculously huge. Um, it's actually probably the easiest, if I show this off again, it's probably the easiest to get where I want to go, leaving the, the well from the southwest and heading this way. But I want to get over here. So what I'm going to try to do is, we'll actually start from town. And I'll have my map, we have this map in our journal. I'll try to follow that on the side. I'll be watching that while we take turns. And I'll try to use that to figure out how to go. And, then, and I won't use the cheat map just yet. <laughs> but now that I sort of know the overall layout... I think that will help, even if I don't stare at it too much, I think that gives me a much better idea of uh, sort of how to get around because like, it's kind of ridiculous, I gotta say, this this map is too huge. Alright, so we leave town at the normal door. Okay, so let me look at uh, the journal here, just a second. Okay, I got it on screen for me. Just to remind you guys, that's the map. So I'm going to try to follow that carefully. Can't see all of it at the same time. I have to move it somewhere better. I've got an awful lot of stuff on my, my monitor right now. Alright. That should cover it. Okay, let's go. So, we just left town. That puts us... So we go through this door, across, straight through here, to the opposite side. Through the only door. Monsters attack. Well, at least I got a map to keep track of stuff. I find it's really easy to lose track of um, your map. Like if you're not right, if you're not drawing these out and you're just mapping in your head, it's after a battle that you really, I really have a hard time remembering like what's going on. What am I doing here? <laughs> Alright, nice quick battle. No, just leave. Alright, so. Now we're going north. Then we go south and over this way. No, not too many uh, branches here. Okay, this was a branch. Don't go that way. Go this way. It's all straight through here. I was looking for this nice long um, path here. We've obviously been through this this far before. I just, you know, I never managed to finish the the path to the the, uh, the treasure. I'm really happy that we can use quick battle, and it doesn't keep it activated between battles now. Because one of the reasons I normally would would never use quick battle is um, I'm pretty sure in the original game, like if you're just playing the the vanilla game without any gold box companion. Um, what happens is you put quick battle on and at the start of next battle it's still on until you turn it off and it's difficult to turn them off. I think you have to press space bar on the character who's auto quick battling's turn for them to deactivate quick battle. Um, so especially if you're playing on a high speed you don't really have even time to click it and then it, they like the enemy still gets their actions or it's easy to it's easy to miss people's turns and it's just you know it's just a big frustration big mess okay I'm facing west uh, so now we're going north around this way okay I know right I had to double check on the map it's really nice having that little identifying mark there so I'm facing south we go this way let me go through here to the east south one east 
back through here. So we have been, I'm pretty sure we went through this door before as well. The arrow points north as in back to town, but we're going west. The passageway looks extremely unstable. Maybe we'll take some more damage again, but we can survive that, I think. And... Okay, I'm almost there. We're actually getting pretty close, according to my map. I think I've always taken the wrong turn, because there's like four ways to go from here. I've always gone the wrong way in this room. We go through this door, and it should be a pretty much straight... Well, it's not straight completely, but... It's down this way. Let me just scroll the map down a little bit, so I don't go off. Oh no, we still got a ways to go! This is a ridiculously huge area. Okay, go through this door. I'm still looking at my map, trying to figure out where I am. Well, there's two doors. Okay, it's the one on the left. Yep. And then south again. We're trying to go mostly south and southwest, generally. Like this, and then it loops back. Another battle, that's fine. You guys don't mind killing some minotaurs for me while I pay attention to the map, right? You just imagine your blue ankylo avatar is just sitting in the back paying attention to the map that the uh, well gave us. And uh, you guys are just defending him from monsters, you know, whatever. Don't even really tell me about it. Just let me know what experience I get. That'll be good enough. Oh, thanks for the 600 experience. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so we're facing west. No... No troubles here. Is this it? South. I hope I didn't make a miss turn. I think this is it. No? Okay, I know where I am. I know where I am on the map. This is it. The last stretch. Yep, yeah, this all lines up. I should have I should have prepared. <laughs> Maybe I can flee. Nice. Let's prepare. <laughs> Before we fight that, let's get some buffs up. So we're gonna cast Bless at least. And Prayer and protection from evil, because I'm pretty sure red dragons are considered evil. And technically, we've got a couple people that could cast um, resist fire. So you're going to cast that on me. <laughs> and I think someone else has that spell. It's just the clerics get it, basically. Resist fire, we're gonna cast, we're just gonna cast it on the people with low HP, really. It it's actually makes sense, like, the people with lots of HP can tank a couple hits. Alright, so we can have three people, we'll get Christina, Sarius, and uh, myself. Pr resistant to fire, at least. I could technically put uh, something like, uh, what would it be, uh... Minor Gloom of Invulnerability, but that would that would stop Fireballs, but it would not stop a Dragon's Breath. It protects you from level 3 and lower spells. So I think that's all of the prep. Oh, there is actually a couple more we could do. We can enlarge some of the main fighters. So, uh, Shinga is now a little bit larger. We'll cast it on Fela. Who else has got it? I tried to give enlarge to most of my mages at level level one charge. Uh, we can probably get all of our main fighters enlarged. Ah, this is just Viagra party, basically. <clears throat> oh, uh, I didn't work on... Uh, Sirius? wonder why not. Interesting how some people have slightly more strength than the others. Anyway, I think that'll do. Um, oh, there is one more thing. Okay. We can put, uh, da, 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 da. there's one more buff that will be useful. I don't know how many people even have it. It's probably just the mages that have a certain level 4 spell. Fire shield. So, you can only cast it on yourself, I believe. And you want to cast it the opposite of the element coming at you. So, Christina is now also resistant to fire. Except, I already, see... I messed it up. I should have gone Fire Shield first and put Cold on the people who could cast that. Um, which would have been Christina, Sirius, and I with Fire Shield. <laughs> I should have done that. 
And then I could have should have cast Resist Fire on uh, the other three. Oh well. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just fight. <laughs> Next time we have a Red Dragon, I'll try to do that. I have a feeling we'll be able to kill it pretty quickly, though. Shinga. 20 damage. I'm going to just try to get some distance. It's fine, actually. And I'm going to cast uh, Hold Monster, because if that works, it's game over. I, I don't think... It, it'll probably resist it, to be honest. I need, like, Flame Arrow, which is not in this game. Um, you know, probably my best single target DPS for a fairly much ever... Basically, for always, is going to be Magic Missile. It'll do good damage. 21 is about as good as anyone can do here. The only buffing spell we didn't cast was uh, Haste. Okay, so Christina took 22 damage, which is nothing. That's for, for a... For a, for a mature, or it's an ancient dragon, we almost killed it in a single round, and it only did 20 damage to one person. Oh, that's, that's an all-round success. No problemo. Continue battle, negatory. Experience for all, treasure for all. It is most certainly magical. There we go, we'll get that all identified. And uh, there's probably lots of money, might as well take it, I guess. Alright, you also find an amulet. And a portal, sweet. I was hoping this would happen. So now we can go back to town quickly. And uh, that would be good. Having the uh, gold box companion at least makes the uh, portal area much easier to navigate. Cool, yeah, we'll just we'll just do this and then we'll wrap up the episode. We'll, we'll get this identified, see what, we see what we picked up from the red dragon, and uh, that'll be that. So, cloak. Another Cloak of Displace Displacement, a Ring of Invisibility, slightly better plate mail, and another long sword that's garbage. Now, she said we got an amulet. I have a feeling that's going to be a quest amulet. Unless someone is holding it right now. When you get, like, important items, like quest stuff, they don't give it to you in your accessible inventory. Because, I mean, what would, what would happen most of the time would be you would just, uh... You would discard it or sell it, and then you'd never get it again in these old games. So whatever that amulet is, somebody write that down in their uh, notepad. Probably Pixel. I think I think Pixel, it's your job, actually. And uh, if ever we need some sort of uh, magical amulet, you pull that out, and uh, you can use it. So we'll exit here. Send them back to the pit. I think we've been to the pit before. It wasn't very nice. Uh, so the Ring of Invisibility, um, I'm just going to give that to our, I might give both of these to our um, thief actually. Yeah, why not? Well, I mean, you could make an argument that he's not going to take as much damage as uh, some of the other characters. So he doesn't need all that armor class and invisibility. Invisibility stops working as soon as you cast a spell or... Uh, or attack something, but it does give him a chance. You know, okay, we're going to give the Displacement Cloak to someone else. Um, we'll give it to Christina, I guess. I don't know. She is one of our um, clerics. I tend to prioritize clerics on top of most other characters because uh, they're the ones that can heal you back up. Anyway, there's our plate mail upgrade, so that's a little bit more AC for Shinga. I mean, it's all around, we're doing pretty good. Sarius might not have quite as much AC, but he's invisible. Uh, Pixel's a little bit behind, but I'll try to give him the next uh, plate mail upgrade, or next, uh, if we get another Cloak of Displacement, I'll give it to him, I guess. Try to be fair, right? Uh, view... And sell that old plate. All right. I think that's it, folks, for this episode and for this session. In the next session, I will attempt to um, navigate through all the, the ruins of Old Verdigrass, or whatever it's called, and um, just try to figure out how to get to the next area. I'll probably be using that map I showed off, because I don't want to spend the next 
five hours mapping it all out and wandering around aimlessly. I want to get to the next dungeon or the mines or whatever we're supposed to do next. Whatever the guys, whatever the story is. And, uh, you know, get on with the game, basically. Alright, we're all in good shape. Saved. I have a feeling, perhaps, after, um, after you killed Marcus, or, well, you didn't kill Marcus, but after we found out that he was hiding in town, causing trouble, maybe we stopped getting assassins or something, because I haven't seen any since then, and, uh, we sort of accidentally r ran into his, his, uh, his, uh, battle pretty early on. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. You know, feel free to leave, uh, more story for your characters as uh, things progress. I'll, talk, I'll try not to record too far in advance, just two or three in a session. And uh, you guys can let me know what you guys are doing. And uh, if you guys, if anybody, anybody, including the party members, has tips or whatever strategies for these old games, you let me know. A lot of it comes back to me as I play, and I can always use my hint books and my internet skills to help me out. But, you know, sometimes you guys know secrets that I don't know about. And, I appreciate you guys letting me know, filling me in. I'm not worried about this being a blind run, really. That's not not the priority. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, as always. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and have a great day.